Greetings. Today is Monday, December 14th. Welcome to Bridges and Beacons, where we reflect on our ministry to be a bridge for Christ and a beacon of his love. During the season of Advent and Christmas, the officers of our church are sharing a favorite hymn or carol with you. My name is Tom Macklin. I serve on session on the membership committee, and I am also a lay leader. My service to the church is most fulfilled by my time with the little lambs in Sunday school. My wife, Kathy, and I, along with Ginny Hendrickson and Lauren Ford, have been teachers in little lambs for 20 years, and this ministry is what I miss the most during the pandemic. The scripture readings I wish to share come from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 34 through 35, and chapter 2, verses 10 through 12, and Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who, in every respect, has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of my favorite traditions of the Christmas season is the service of lessons and carols, which will be presented virtually this year for our Sunday service on December 27th. Following the tradition of over 100 years at King's College in Cambridge, our service begins with Once in Royal David City. The single voice of a child offers the first verse, followed by the joyous singing and procession of the choir, adding the voices of the congregation and sounds of the many instruments in the orchestra as the hymn builds to the crescendo and promise. Jesus came into this world to lead his children on to the place where he is gone. When Kathy and I joined DPC in 1999, Russell was five and John was two. Annie would come in 2001. Kathy and I were both raised with Jesus Christ in our lives when we were young. 
Although I was very involved when I was young, I drifted away from the Catholic Church when I went to college. Kathy was confirmed at DPC as a youth, and it was our choice for the church we decided to attend, having moved to Doylestown a couple years before. While we were searching for a church that would fulfill our need for worship and fellowship, our main reason for joining was to be sure that our children had the same opportunity we had to learn about Jesus. We were so impressed with the children's education program at DPC. We decided to volunteer as Sunday school teachers in 2000. We settled on Little Lambs, and I believe that God led us to this age group. There is a sense of wonder and genuine joy in playing along with the Little Lambs for both the children and for me. I love silly words, pretending that plastic bananas are phones, and making f funny faces so I fit in perfectly with this crowd. Ask any of the kids who pass through my class to tell you a knock-knock joke. I know that several of the children I played with in my class went on to become the child soloist in Once in Royal David City, and my pride in seeing and hearing them is as great as if they were my own child. As we know from the celebration of baptisms in our church, we are one family in the house of the Lord, and we rejoice at the gifts that each person brings. For my own spiritual growth, I will say that secular Christmas songs, such as Rudolph, Frosty, and Santa Claus is Coming to Town, would have topped my list of favorites when I was younger. Once in Royal David City would definitely not have made my top 10. With each passing year, my love of Jesus Christ has grown, and with it, my enjoyment of hymns that celebrate the true meaning of Christmas. While it was very difficult to pick just one hymn, I chose Once in Royal David City because of the story it tells. The hymn and presentation of a single child's voice, singing of a lowly stable, a mother mild, and little child, reminds me how our God chose to bring his blessed son into our world in a most unassuming way. The hymn, As the Life of Jesus, grows in sound and importance with each stanza, but never loses relation to the very humanity that is the true miracle we celebrate with the birth of our Savior holy. I invite you to join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we move through this Advent season, let us be mindful of the words of Isaiah and the child's voice that so beautifully begins once in a royal David city. And a little child shall lead them. May the blessing of Christmas once again remind us of Jesus' redeeming love. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.